every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruth and welcome to the 198th day of my challenge where I'm actually going back to the initial list of Flores recipes I was trying. I was trying from the very, very beginning in a row uh, while skipping some because I couldn't find some ingredients, but then continuing further. And while in Lithuania, I focused mainly on those skipped recipes because it was easier for me uh, to find ingredients but I still have one recipe which I'm not really sure if I will ever be able to try was it chicken enchilada or something I know it's tomatillos or something called similar similarly like red tomato I could not red green I couldn't really find it anywhere and I feel like it will be the only recipe well so far which I will not be ever uh, to try because well you cannot really skip it but I'm getting off track here so I'm going back to that uh, initial list where I stopped because well I'm back to run so I cannot go back to some recipes I've skipped because there are still no those ingredients so today I'm gonna try the next recipe in line which is butternut squash soup and apparently it's uh, Laura's mom's like original soup uh, so she uses water instead of chicken stock or vegetable stock so I will do that as well but I have a feeling that with chicken stock or vegetable stock it might be a little bit more flavorful but that will be for the future to try today I'm gonna try the original recipe so let's go over the ingredients and let's get started we're gonna need one large butternut squash mine is about one and a half kilos peeled seeded and diced into about two and a half centimeter cubes 1.2 liters of water 100 grams of shortcut pasta 60 grams of tomato puree two cloves of garlic sliced six grams of parsley one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper a large pot here to which I've already added the extra virgin olive oil I will add the garlic as well turn the heat to medium-high and let it preheat together and once the garlic starts sizzling I will cook it for one minute Okay, and I'm gonna add in the butternut squash and cook it for two minutes. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I'm so surprised. So now I'm gonna season everything with salt and pepper, give it a nice mix, and then add pretty much everything. Uh, water, parsley, what do I have there? Tomato puree, yeah, except for the pasta, I will add everything there and bring to boil. This smells so good. I really don't get it. Is it the butternut squash? This is it? it? Smells so tasty. I honestly, I cannot understand. It's like a, a total surprise for me. But now as it has come to a boil, I will reduce the heat to medium and let it cook for 45 minutes. Five minutes have passed and this looks really really good so now I'll just kind of crush some of the butternut squash against the pot just a few times uh, to make the consistency a little bit different or because Laura says so and then we'll add the pasta I will 
we'll season everything with salt, add the pasta in, and then eagerly wait for 10 minutes for the soup to be done. Okay, now it does kind of scare me a little bit because it reminds me of when well, I tried pumpkin puree and yeah that wasn't an experience which I would like to remember but this while cooking did smell really nice so let's see this is by the way even though the name is butternut squash soup it's more so like a stew especially it will be tomorrow <laughs> when the pasta absorbs all the liquid but okay enough prolonging the inevitable <laughs> okay let's try it will be hot though mm. okay now i'm not scared scared anymore this is so tasty i'm like I don't know why, close to 200, I'm still, which day? Yeah, close to 200, yeah, 198. I'm still getting surprised when I'm like, when I'm finding the end dish so tasty. This is really good. Butternut squash is somewhat sweet almost. That's such a cool, cool lunch i'm gonna have i don't even know should i take some bread i feel like i should okay <laughs> i should stop eating because this is really good and it's so surprising again because well i guess because it's just so little ingredients that you're using and now when i think about it in the very beginning i was quite sure that I would prefer this with like chicken stock or vegetable stock. Having never tried it, that was quite an, I don't know, arrogant thought of me, but I thought that there would be then more taste. But if you have a nice butternut squash, actually not using uh, any kind of stock, I feel like let's the squash uh, shine through, like the taste of it. So. I really want to go, which is, I like, I like days like the, like this and recipes like this, but I just get so surprised and then I love it so much that I just want to run and eat. But if you want, you can find the original recipe by Laura there. The written one, as always, will be in the description box down below in both American and the metric systems. And I'm leaving uh, in the written recipe the weight of my butternut squash just because in Laura's recipe just said large butternut squash. And when you go to a shop, there are lots of different sizes, all right? So this was kind of like middle-sized, I think, because there were definitely uh, bigger ones I remember seeing. So yeah, just to have some guidelines because I cannot <laughs> work with such abstract meanings. Uh, but other than that, I really hope that this was fun and helpful. If you try this one out, let me know. Do you like it? I do. We can be friends then. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.